welcome to Ruth's Mountain Homestead. I had a pretty rough night last night. I run out of my pain cream that I make. So today, I'm gonna to make another batch. Um, I get pretty bad cramps in my legs, especially around two or three o'clock in the morning. And I usually use it. And I know pickle juice works, but so does my pain cream. So I'm gonna make some more today. And this is my little book that I've got that my grandson bought me when I first started making my creams and lotions and sprays. And it says, and so the adventures begin. And I've got all my recipes in here. So I'm gonna make this today and I thought maybe I'd show you a little bit of how I do it. So come along and we'll make my pain cream. I put in two tablespoons of organic natural shea butter. I add beeswax that I render myself and I put it on the double broiler. I also add, I take three tablespoons of boiling water and put half a cup of magnesium flakes in it and let it dissolve a little bit and then I strain it because not all of it dissolves. And I put the liquid in there. quarter cup to a half a cup, I usually like a half a cup, of my CBD hemp infused oil that I make. I put that all in my double broiler and I let it melt. I get my hemp from a friend who had a who has a hemp farm. Um, it's a small farm and I get my hemp from her and then I render it myself and make my own hemp CBD oil. It's just at 3%, so it's legal, but I don't sell it. I make it for me because I need it. I'm gonna let this melt in my double boiler and when it's melted, I'll be back. Okay, it's melted. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wipe the bottom. You don't want any moisture to get in this. I'll move that off. And then I'm gonna add, let's see. Gonna get that off. And then I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. That keeps it from collecting any bacteria or anything that would be harmful um, to make the cream that I'm gonna make go bad. And then I'm going to add quite a bit of essential oils. I add about 15 drops of eucalyptus about 
15 drops of camphor. About 15 drops of frankincense. Fifteen drops of black pepper. You can use any essential oils you like. I like this brand. but you don't have to get this brand. You can get any brand you want, whatever your preference is. I also add about a quarter teaspoon of arrowroot. That keeps it from being greasy on your skin. It's going to be a little, but this keeps it from being a lot greasy on your skin. And then I've got my secret ingredient. And then I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. And when it's cool, I'll be back. Okay, I've taken it out of the refrigerator. It's still warm, but once it gets to about the consistency of this, I'm going to use my electric mixer. This is designated just for my creams, so I don't have to worry about it getting into any of the food that we eat. And I just turn it on and beat it for a minute or so, about a minute, and I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator. And this is kind of loud, so I'm going to continue to beat it for about a minute, and then I'll be back when it gets a little more cool. Okay, it's been in the refrigerator for about an hour, and I take it out, I scrape it down on the sides, and it's pretty well even though it hardened up. And then I add another quarter teaspoon of the arrowroot powder. And then I beat it. That way it makes it like a body butter. get it all off my beaters. Well, as much as I can anyway. put it in a bag. It just helps with getting it into the containers that I use. This is a cake decorating bag. And then I 
put it in my containers. And then I slap a label on them because I need to know what they are. I make different kinds of creams, make different kinds of oils, make different kinds of sprays. So I always put a label on them. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.